Hello, my name is Rachel. I love getting things in the mail and I love clothes and accessories and all sorts of things. <laughs> now I know I said I wasn't going to buy all the things anymore. These are just a couple of stragglers left over from last month. <laughs> just a, a few last minute items <laughs> that I just couldn't resist. Um, so once again, I have a, this is a mini, very mini Amazon haul. I just have, I think, like two pieces of clothing and two accessory items to share with you. And let me just show you what I got. And the first dress came in this cute little bag that says, Happy Halloween. <laughs> and this is already out of its Amazon package because it, it came with, uh, it was packed with some cleaning supplies that I needed. <laughs> But I haven't opened it up yet. I haven't actually looked at it yet. And also they only had a size large left and I'm normally an extra large. Uh, for reference, my measurements are 40, 33, 43. So I'm taking a chance on the large. Sometimes larges will work, sometimes they won't. But Prime does have free returns. And I just thought this was the cutest print. It's got all the, the little skeleton pieces and it's got a, a little like Peter Pan collar and then lace up around the neck. Now it is that really like cheap satiny stretchy fabric that a lot of uh, Amazon dresses as well as like Rose Gal and um, uh, Dress Lily dresses are made out of. So I have a lot of dresses in this fabric so it doesn't bother me but just just so you know it does have a decent amount of stretch to it. And there is a zipper in the back. And I will try this on uh, a little bit later on so we can see what this looks like. And let's move to the second clothing piece. And I haven't even taken this out of its package yet. I'm really excited about this. And this was something else that they only had left in a large. I've been, I'm just, I'm just taking chances, all sorts of chances today, aren't I? <laughs> And this brand, I, I've, I love this brand, but I, they're expensive and I never buy anything from them. It's Folter. So I don't know how they fit. So I don't know if the, uh, the large is going to fit. I have like one dress by them that I bought when I was a lot thinner. So it's a medium, so it definitely doesn't fit me anymore. <laughs> but look how pretty this is. I don't know if you can see that. It's just this little shirt with a white tie at the neck. And then it has little coffins all over it. See, Folter. And I mean, it, it should fit. My my top tends to be closer to a large. It's my bottom that keeps me in those solid extra larges. <laughs> but that is so cute. We'll, we'll try that on as well. And then just the uh, accessory items. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so this, this will take a little explaining. <laughs> I have really wanted to try diamond painting, but I don't want a picture, if that makes sense. Like, I, I, I'm not interested in having a finished product that I then put on my wall. I like to, to put, like, I guess more original artwork on my wall, if, if you understand what I'm saying. But I really wanted to try it because it looks like so much fun. I discovered you can get things that are diamond painting. I found this little purse <laughs> with skulls on it. How cute is that? And I don't know if you can see, but I don't know if anyone else here does diamond painting. It's got all the little numbers on there and it's got the plastic on here because I think it's sticky. Yeah, yeah, it's sticky. So you peel it off as you're doing it. And inside are all of my accessories. So here's all the little stones. It looks like they have like lots of different shapes. And then they give you a little tray and a little like whatever that is, <laughs> the little pen that you put them on. And it came with a gold chain for the purse. Although I'll, I'll probably replace the gold chain, although it does have a little bit of gold on it, but I might still find something else to replace the gold chain with. But at the very end of this video, we're gonna see if we can figure out diamond painting together. So if you're interested in sticking around for that, that'll be after the try-ons. 
And then I just have one last little item here that I got me with a double bag. <laughs> I bought these little hair clips. I see everyone has these hair clips. I see all of my my favorite people with these hair clips. Enigma seventy seven reviews has these hair clips. I think um, Rainbow Goth Brandy has these hair clips. I, I'm not sure if Pixie has these hair clips. She might, but I know I see everybody with these hair clips. <laughs> so I bought a bunch of these hair clips. <laughs> I mean, how cute are they? And, and I got uh, two different colors. I got the black ones and the white ones. <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah, making a mess. My hair has been getting longer and longer <laughs> since I haven't been able to go get it cut. So I just thought, little hair clips. But yeah, I got, a, a, there's a pair of each. I have two black ones and two white ones. And I think I, oh yeah, I got, a couple extra pair to put into my giveaway which is coming up way sooner than I expected it to because <laughs> I promised another giveaway around 600 subscribers and that that's coming faster than I thought it would um, I, I'm a procrastinator it won't happen exactly at 600 but somewhere around there there will be a, a second giveaway so keep your eyes open for that so I am going to go try on the clothes for you and see you in just a second so this dress is just so cute. I love the little lace and the little Peter Pan collar and the large fits me just fine. Uh, might just be maybe just a touch tight here through the sleeves, but not uncomfortably because it's a really soft, stretchy fabric, but I can actually feel it if that makes sense. So it may not be as, as loose as it should be, but I will definitely wear this and it goes perfectly with the little hair clip. <laughs> it's just so cute. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. You can tell I really like this dress. Okay, so I'm going to have to actually go run and grab a skirt so I can try that top one. Be right back. Okay, so here is the Folter top and it is really cute. And the large does seem to fit fine. Maybe, maybe a little clingy. I get a little self-conscious about clingy through the middle, but that's not the garment's fault. <laughs> the garment fits fine. I really need to improve uh, my bow tying as well, because <laughs> that is a sad little bow. <laughs> but I think the top is super cute and I am definitely keeping it. If nothing else, just to have it in the collection, you know? <laughs> but let me know in the comments below what you think. And I think I'll be saying goodbye to some of you here because I'm done with the clothing portion. Next, we're going to play with the diamond painting. If you are interested in watching me try to figure out diamond painting, feel free to stick around. But if you're not, no hard feelings. Uh, thank you so much for joining me this far. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give, you can feel free to give me a thumbs down, but please leave constructive criticism in the comments below so I can improve and please subscribe to the channel. Now let's try some diamond painting. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so here we're gonna try diamond painting and I'm already off to, to a bad start. So they come in these little packets like this, which obviously aren't sealable, but they are perforated. So you've got these little perforations between the baggies. And I was trying to remove the black one because I was gonna start with the black since they are number number one, which goes on the very edges here. And in doing that, I ripped open number two, which are these pink ones. <laughs> and they went everywhere. <laughs> and prob there's probably some, oh, oh, yep, one over here that I completely missed. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I keep doing that, where I keep spilling the whole tray. <laughs> uh, give me a second while I clean that up again. Again. So yeah, I'm a bit klutzy and apparently I've seen that you can buy bigger trays and that might be better for me because I'm a mess. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna do just these couple little pink ones because obviously I'm not gonna make you watch me do this whole thing. So I'm just, oh look, there's even one there. <laughs> I'm just peeling this back to just expose the, the pink numbers there 
And from what I understand, you got this little sticky stuff here. So you put your pen into that to get a little bit sticky. And then you just pick up, maybe, there, pick up a diamond. And then place it on one of these twos. Look, it worked! <laughs> Look, another diamond just laying around because I'm a mess. Let's try a second one. So, that's basically all there is to it. Okay, I'm just gonna stop there. I'm sure you have the idea. Yeah, that's that's fairly simple. <laughs> and um, I can definitely see why people enjoy it. I think it's something you could just really zen out to and really, really relax. And then you have this pretty little finished product. I can't wait until this is done. In another video, I will show the finished product. But yeah, that's, that's diamond painting. <laughs> and as long as I don't lose all my diamonds, I'll be fine. <laughs> so tell me what you think uh, down in the comments below. Do you diamond paint? Is that something you enjoy? Do you do the big posters? Did you know that you could get little accessories like purses and journals and bookmarks? And I even saw a, a, like a lamp that I might get because it's a sugar skull and some keychains. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I already went through the whole spiel earlier, so you know what to do. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope everyone is just staying happy, healthy, and safe in this incredibly crazy world we are living in. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.